Hello, we are going to demonstrate to you embryo reduction for high order pregnancy. Now high order multiple pregnancies are rare these days because of the strict guidelines which most of the IVF clinics are following of transferring one or two embryos. So we are hardly getting triplets or otherwise if you get triplets it will be one uh, monochorionic and the other so it can be uh, one split embryos. Now these patients are referred to us. We have been we have a very good experience with uh, embryo reduction. They can be done two ways. They can be done abdominally at 11 weeks after the NTNB scan, or they can be done transvaginally at any stage after seven and a half weeks. Very early embryos has its own advantage of uh, reduction. We can aspirate the hole, or you can inject KCL in that small embryo and it stops there with a dead weight very less. Bigger embryos, the advantage is that you are able to do identify genetic abnormalities by NTNB scan. So here is a case which has been referred to us at about 11 weeks. The NTNB scan shows all three fetuses are same. So but we are going ahead and going to do transvaginally as we are more comfortable with it. So here is one, two and three. All three in different sacs, you see the twin peak sign. So there are different twin peak signs. So there are different uh, placentas. So they are triamniotic, trichorionic, and uh, all are having different. So which one to reduce? Which is nearest to my that I will reduce? The others ones. This can go, but we'll have to go through the placenta. This one is too far. If I reduce this, I'll have to go through this sac, and this cause leaking here. So this is the one which we are going to reduce. We will get it in position in the longitudinal and target the heart and what we are using is we are using the 22 gauge needle to directly go in so it's a very very thin needle that is what makes it more difficult so 22 gauge needles are used for um, immature oocyte pickup or they are used for double needle embryo reduction where the thicker needle is 17 which fixes into the uterine wall and the thinner needle goes through it but we go ahead and use the thinner one straight away. So I've got the chest in view and that's my needle which is coming in. And you can see the tip and we'll just go into the chest. And into the chest and inject one or two drops of KCL. Check. So if we go straight into the circulation, it will stop in one or two drops only. But you see I am a little away from the heart. So that was the heart.